Right then, we've been kindly given access to Java Suite 12738. Um, so we're just going to have a look around if Paul opens the door. Good afternoon. <laughs> so let's walk straight in here and just look at that. So we're going to go into the sitting room first, aren't we, Paulie? Yes, indeed. Which, as you can see, is a really lovely area. Let's start over here. Do you want to explain what you get with the uh, you when get, you book a Java Suite? Is, you get a fruit. Yes, of your choice. Of your choice. There's a little pair of binoculars in there. Yep. And that's like um, a Bluetooth speaker. Like a Bluetoothy speaker when we came in. So yes, yeah. but you can set it up to your phone, etc. And you, this is a three-seater sofa bed that goes into a sofa bed. Yes, that goes into a sofa yeah. bed. Yeah. And because technically you can have extra, an extra guest staying in here. Yeah. You've also got yes, an extra wardrobe an extra there. Wardrobe. Yeah. This yeah. It's got a fair bit of space, and then you've got all your little tea, bar area, isn't it? Tea and coffee. Loads glasses, of little glasses. And then down the bottom, you've got another cupboard with more glasses yeah. and ice bucket. And a decent sized fridge. And a fridge which is bigger. Bigger than a standard cabin. Bigger than a standard cabin. And the butler has kindly given them some milk uh, rather than having to use the little pouches. You don't get alcohol with this suite, um, but you do get obviously all your tea and coffee, which is in that drawer there, isn't it, Paul? The end of the t kettle, if you just show. I could do the better on you on that. <laughs> Yeah, well, as you, yeah, so you can see there. So that's what, what you get. So, yeah, so this is a lovely sitting room, and you've obviously got a TV uh, there too. So we're just going to go now through to the, the bedroom. What you have got as well, if you want to do some in-cabin dining, and it's a bit too chilly to go outside, you've also got a little dining table there yeah. as well, which is really handy. And that's all complimentary, isn't it? Yeah. Because in a standard cabin, you have to pay for room service, breakfast, and for any additional items that you may want. So yes, yeah, so if we go through to the to the bedroom, so just go in here, and as you can see, this is a decent size. You've got USB ports under the lamps. Um, you've got your telephone and your normal lights as you would get in a, in a standard cabin. You've also got another TV, a second TV here, the same size, but it's got lots and lots of storage, which is really impressive. So you've got three drawers both sides. Yeah. And you've also got another yeah. set of yeah. cupboards there. Exactly. And you've got a little vanity desk here, which is really nice, with more, obviously, um, plugs and USB points. No drawers here, but you do have the ones on the side there for, for all your bits and bobs. And another sort of long ladies' wardrobe there for all your dresses. So this is a nice sort of walk-in wardrobe area, isn't it, yeah. Paul, with a, a big safe like uh, we have in our standard cabin too. Got yeah, it's um, very, very nice. Now let's show you the bathroom, which is pretty... Uh, this is pretty serious, yeah. <laughs> serious. So as you can see, you've got a really big jacuzzi bath. You've also got separate heating controls for the bathroom, so if you want it really hot in here um, for when you get out of the bath, but look at the space you've got in here. This is just awesome. His and hers sinks, and you've got a large shower uh, with a glass door. So it's uh, very impressive. But also, the toilet's separate, which Paul will show you now. So, um, which is a nice feature too, isn't it? If someone needs the, the loo, then you've got obviously a separate toilet here. And Just to let you know, there's also a shaving point, and you've got a magnifying mirror too. And also, this door, if you go out of this door, yeah. you're back where you started. Okay. Our lovely um, friends are, are hiding, they're going behind us because they didn't want to be on film. So we just checked that they've yeah, moved to. The, yeah, <laughs> they're, they're shy, but um, lovely of them to let us have access. So let's show you the balcony, which is just amazing. So it's an aft balcony, as you can see from the wake there, and you're looking down right onto the sunset bar and the jacuzzi is there but if you see you've got a lovely dining area which you can have obviously your dinner and they'll come and set it all up the butler will do that you've got seats there with stores and you've also got sunbed so it, it covers everything doesn't it yeah, i can't think of um anything that's missing from this balcony and you've got both aspect view you probably won't be able to hear me now with the wind but so i'll go back in and explain but look at the space you've got so for sailing in um it's just a fabulous. Let me go over here so you can have a look look to see the total. So wherever you're sailing in or out of, 
your great, great aft views and also side views. So it's pretty perfect, isn't it, really, yeah, from a balcony perfect. point of view? Really nice We've been very impressed. Um, Want to see what a standard balcony cabin with a massive balcony looks like for no extra money? Then watch this video next.